Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So today's video is going to be me trying to um, get ready for the day. Basically because we have some things planned and I might have to go in for a job interview. So I'm going to be keeping the makeup light and the fact that it's summertime. I'm not going to put on a lot of makeup. I'm going to keep it everything short and simple because... Um, I'm running out of memory <laughs> in my memory here and as you can tell I just got out of the shower well not really I did get out I brushed my hair I put on my um, moisturizer my eye cream and stuff already um, so I can just focus on other things um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually prime my face with a smash a box photo finish primer I'm just gonna apply this all over my face very quickly all for like 36 bucks and I'm not planning on buying it anytime soon. So. Usually I don't um draw my eyebrows on camera because I find it so boring. Like who wants to sit there and watch me do my eyebrows for like 30 minutes? So I'm just going to do it very quickly. I'm probably going to zoom really fast to it. As usual, you guys know that I always use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. It's my longtime favorite. Um, I do have uh, other lineups other things lined up for my brows like the beach studio one and the one by pixie but I'll use that when I run out of this one what I don't like about my eyebrows is that they're different shapes so it annoys the crap out of me and I'm going to be taking this um, brow drama in deep brown I believe it's by Maybelline I don't know why I keep touching my nose it's such a bad uh, weird habit like every time we talk I'm like yeah yeah this and that I'm going to take this and run this through my eyebrows very quickly. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer brush or whatever brush you want to call this, a flat brush, and my CoverGirl 3 in 1 foundation. Um, this is in golden tan. I'm going to be using this to carve out my brows and make them very nice and neat. And then I like to use my fingers sometimes to blend it out more. For the eyeshadow base, I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, the original one. And I'm, and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid. The palette we're going to be using today is the La Roque Pro Palette, the original. I'm going to go in with cream and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone highlight. I'm just going to take a flat brush right here. My favorite one. Next, I'm going to go in with taupe, and that is going to be the transition increase shade. And the reason why I chose this shade is because it's almost close to my skin tone. I haven't cleaned this brush in so long, so it's kind of depositing the glitter that I used last time that's all right just add some glam just a little bit of glam to this look I'm so tempted to go super dramatic but I'm not going to I'm just gonna leave the crease like this I'm gonna go back in with my flat brush and then I'm going to be taking the shade either light pink or mauve light pink or mauve I think I'm gonna go in with mauve and that is going to be my lid shade I'm going to go back in with my crease brush and just blend it out. I'm going to quickly line up my uh, tight line up here with Bobbi Brown's eyeliner in Jet. I'm running out. <laughs> I'm going to darken up the crease a little bit, just a little bit. I'm going to be taking Sable in this pencil brush by Beach Cosmetics. Um, just a tad bit, guys, because I, I don't like the way it looks right now. I'm going to be taking 
this contraption this eyelash contraption and I'm going to curl my lashes I'm not gonna wear any upper eyeliner today I'm going in with a lash blast no I'm sorry lash sensational by Maybelline one of my favorites Now I'm going to quickly apply my foundation and this is the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation and as you guys know I have been trying this foundation now and it's okay but right now um, I find it a little bit too thick for me so what I like to do is I like to apply water to my brush and just thin out the foundation and the brush I like to use is this one it's like a round brush um, it have really has no name it's from the BH Cosmetics um, sculpt sculpting brush set I let the foundation set for like a minute or two it's still a little tacky as right now um, it did take like a lot of color out of my face and it did flatten my face a little bit so later on we're gonna go into adding more color and will make me look alive I think I totally forgot <laughs> at the beginning of this video is applying lip balm I've been trying out this be a bombshell one I got this in my ipsy bag and this is in the shade ruby it has a tiny tint to it it's nothing dramatic I think I need a little more uh, mascara I'm gonna apply a little mascara onto my lower lash line I'm not gonna put any uh eyeshadow or anything under there because I want to look alive bam what difference does that make as usual I'm going in with my L'Oreal true match powder in the shade caramel beige I am in W7 and the reason why I like to use this is because I like to use it for the outside parts of my face and I'm just gonna go in with this powder brush by Beach Cosmetics I'm just gonna swirl the brush into here top off the excess and just swirl it swirl it or tap it if you want onto the outer parts of my face For blush and highlight, I'm going to go in with this blushing duo combination um, by Prestige Cosmetics. And it's in the shade Beat 03 Acacia. It's an awesome product. I accidentally dropped it. Look at that. I made a whole dent into it. This is like a nice dark peach and this is a nice highlight. I'm going in with a Sonia Castic, Sonia Castic Accentuate Brush and that is going to be used I'm gonna go in with the blush shade first and I'm gonna apply that to the apples on my cheeks and then I'm gonna bring it up to the temple because I do have a chubby face now I'm gonna use the same brush I'm gonna go in with the highlighter hope you guys can see holy damn that is a good highlight I think that's way too dramatic for the look I'm going for. Oh, that's okay. And I'm going to take some and run it through my nose like this. Okay, we are almost done. I could leave my lips like this, but I kind of want to go in with a lip liner and a lipstick. This is the Jordana Natural Silk Lip Liner. I'm just going to line my lips with that. And then I'm going to run it through my lips. And the lipstick I want to use today is basically new. I actually bought this months ago and I never got to use it. I was looking through my makeup and I was like, heck yes, I'm going to use this today. And this is the Maybelline lipstick in a 705 blushing bud. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful and I think it will go perfect with this almost a natural look. And this is the final look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys wear sunscreen because the sun is kind of evil sometimes i've been enjoying a natural light makeup looks lately because it's so hot um i hope you guys get some ideas from me to um incorporate into your light makeup look days and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys